Hi guys! In this series, uh, on our food tour in Istanbul, we've come to Baslama Kalvati at the Nishantashi uh, location. They have several locations all across uh, Istanbul and they've now expanded internationally in the UAE as well. We've come here to do an exclusive interview with the owners and the co-founder, Sinem, uh, to find out what are they doing special, how are they so successful, what are they doing different to others, and how are they coping with the current financial climate that we have in Istanbul. So let's go talk and let's find out why Baslam Kalbati is such an amazing brand. So guys, we're in Nishantashi. In actual fact, they've got three locations literally within yards of each other. Um, and we're at this particular location, which is one of their first locations that they, they open. You can actually see the whole concept in the whole look and feel and the brand. It's clean, it's modern, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it's fun, it's joyous. And that's what's made this brand so successful and eye-catching. I mean, one of the things I love about this place is how they take on board local women to, to build their brand and the whole ethos about looking after their staff, which is key to their success. It's all about service and looking after the people that make this brand so successful. Let's sit down and try their amazing brunch. Turkish Danet, we say pishi, bazlama bread, and suju. This is a menemen, it's very similar to shakshuka. One more is here. This site is very hot, please be careful. And weather like this. Okay, guys, so this is the breakfast bread at Bazlama Kabati. In my opinion, the best value for money. Uh, Turkish spread that you can find uh, in Istanbul. I mean, as part of this package, you get sujuk, the famous donuts, the local bread, stuffed bread with potatoes, uh, spinach, and also cheese. You've got the cheese board, salad boards, uh, menemen, uh, Turkish omelets, a huge number and variety of olives, dips, uh, jams, marmalades, honeys unlimited tea, everything is fully rechargeable um, and it's 585 Turkish Lira at the date of this recording. So in my opinion, amazing value for money and I highly recommend it. So guys, this is the full spread, the famous spread. Everything is rechargeable, amazing quality, the most comprehensive, in my opinion, Turkish breakfast you'll find in Turkey and in Istanbul. Now let's talk to the owners and find out why this brand is so successful. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Food Tour in Istanbul. But today we have a special program. We're with Sinan and her mother. Nurkan. Uh, Nurkan. Ah, there you go. Oh, there's written there on her, <laughs> yeah, on her apron. And uh, as you can see, we have an amazing spread over here. And today we want to talk about a little bit more about the brand um, and discover the ingredients to their success. Um, and what are their plans for the future um, and how are they coping with the current climate in Istanbul and of course globally um, and we're really delighted to be here today to, to speak with Sinam and her, her mother. Thank you for um, introducing us to a wider uh, range of uh, audience and we're all, all the time happy to, to get to know um, you guys as well too so yeah uh, it, it's been a wonderful morning so far. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, today the weather's improved a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, since the last few days, we're a little bit cold. But you know, we're so uh, happy to bring you behind the scenes, and that's our objective with this series: to take you behind the scenes that, of the brands and to discover more about what do they really, uh, what are their underlying core values, and, and you know, what are the ingredients to their success? Because Bazlama, in my opinion, is one of the most successful brands that we have in Istanbul. Thank and, you. and we're here to find out a little bit more information. Sure, sure. So let's uh, start off with how many locations do you have currently in Istanbul? Um, right now we currently have uh, six operations okay. uh, in Turkey and one international, Dubai right. branch. So total of seven operations. Okay. Uh, currently employed 300 employees actually. Wow. Um, yes, that's kind of the family, the size of the family we have. Currently. And how did how did Baslama evolve? How did it come about? When did it start? Sure, actually, it, it, it's rooted back to 1992. It's a family business. Right. With and, mom, of course. Yes, yes with mom <laughs> and, and dad. And uh, they started this business in 1992. 
Um, I, when I joined the family business, it was uh, 2013 when uh, everything was reconstructed into a, a total new uh, brand reposition and, and a, 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 with a different concept. Right. So uh, first it started with a hotel, uh, boutique hotel business right. and uh, the, the hotel was offering uh, breakfasts okay. to its um, internal customers right. first and then later it opened its doors to outside consumers and then when, once I came into the picture I, uh, you know, totally repositioned the uh, breakfast part to a total different, uh, with a total different name and a, a different concept, a different spin, if you will. Sure. But um, the common denominator from the family business is rooted back to our grand mother's recipes. It's right. a it's a authentic Turkish uh, Turkish breakfast that uh, still carries on to the uh, uh, mother's uh, recipes. Right. Great. And what are I mean, what are your core values? I mean, why are you so? I mean, why does everyone love you? I mean, what what are what are the ingredients to your success? Uh, as I said, actually, there I would summarize it uh, into three main uh, core values. Um, we do have additional ones, obviously, but I'm going to touch on the the most prominent ones to to us, uh, which is the tie to family values. So, uh, breakfast is a very important um, uh, meal uh, of the day for Turkish families. So then we actually brought that values to our restaurants, uh, tied into our family uh, business traditions as well. So um, it's authenticity, uh, authenticity of uh, of the uh, breakfast is definitely something that we um, transport to our uh, consumers from all over the world. And secondly, our um, uh, sustainable quality um, um, sourced foods from our local farms. So they're mainly from the Aegean, from the best part of Turkey. We bring our um, uh, ingredients uh, that are locally farmed and specially sourced to our brand. And we do have our own fields that are um, uh, uh, you know, grown um, according to its seasons. So let's say our vegetables, um, and, you know, our tomatoes. We we have uh, local farms farmers that um, uh, source to us. And uh, Turkey is a, such a strategic, um, you know. Um, uh, climb with that on the west coast mm. when it's summertime you have the best tomatoes when it's winter time you go to south of turkey yeah, where you have you keep getting the same quality of the tomatoes so that's when our boutique uh, purchasing department they actually change their supplier Supply, depending, uh, on the season. depending on the season so we and that's keep how you keep the consistency consistent, consistency exactly that's Perfect. just one example of the tomato we do this at least 20 of our ingredients yeah. on our on our uh, table that you see today so Perfect. and the third uh, and the final core value that i'm going to uh, mention today is our um uh, uh, social responsibility um projects we are a family oriented brand and we do like to give back to the community so we do um, uh, take on a lot of projects that actually support our communities around us so let's say we have currently a shelter uh, project we are uh, 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 sponsoring the, the biggest shelter in Istanbul um, who we actually uh, donate all, uh, most of our uh, leftover right. food oh, wow. uh, to them right. so we have three times uh, per week professionally um, you know handpicked and sorted out uh, the, the, the leftover food and then we transport all that food three times a week to this um, um, shelter, animal shelter. And uh, also we empower the woman because it's a woman um, startup uh, uh, brand. So we empower the woman by let's say giving them um, initiatives to, to be part of the brand as, um, as a management, um, uh, we have management uh, 
systems. Okay. Uh, they can be part. They can start out oh, so like a training uh, from program. the kitchen. Exactly, training programs, if you will. You, you're right. Yeah. Uh, they start out from the kitchen, let's say, or floor uh, on the floor, and they can start building up on uh, as a managerial role. So that's part of our Baslama Academy program. And those are, you know, examples that we can actually um, uh, talk about. Uh, and we do have, uh, let's say, apparel like. Um, we get our um, staff apparels, mm -hmm. uh, clothing from women um, right. um, uh, corporations, okay. exactly. Yeah. Things like that that we can put on, yeah, as an Perfect. example. I mean, this is an amazing spread over here. Um, and one of the things that I love about it is that you know you have such good wide variety of different jams and mar mm -hmm. marmalades and dips and you have I mean is this all from um, which part is it all over uh, Turkey or is it different specific parts of it Turkey? definitely as I mentioned a bit earlier we have a very um, uh, seasonality changes because of our continent uh, uh, you know small uh, uh, you know uh, small size so uh, so we must uh, produce or get our um, ingredients from all over Turkey depending on the season of se season so let's say right now it's um, no we're in fall so we get our tomato started started from the southern part of Turkey mm -hmm. and uh, our uh, jams um, by the way all of our gems are homemade like and, all organic. and all organic all um, traditional uh, recipes from mother and grandmother so mm -hmm. Um, we make it in the house, as I mentioned, and uh, most of our, not only jams, most of our ingredients are in-house. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't uh, get exactly uh, ready ready ingredients. So let's say our um, Meneman, Shakshuka, is, mm -hmm. is one of the number one sellers mm -hmm. in, in, on our table, where we have um, you know customers coming from like uh, uh, six hours of, uh, of uh, traveling of cities yeah. um, just to eat our menemen and then our signature um, ingredient yeah. is our Turkish donut Pishy. which is amazing I love those and so that's uh, solely relied on our grand my, my grandmother's uh, recipe and right now um, because we um, uh, serve to so many customers uh, normally we should be doing this with machine made mm -hmm. uh, stuff. Right? No, yes, authentic way. So we have only per restaurant two to three people working in the fishy station right. just doing it by hand right. so that it's still delicious, it's still authentic. Yeah. Keep the authenticity and, exactly. and the quality. Yeah. Perfect. I mean you mentioned um, that you obviously have an international presence now in the UAE and Dubai. Sure. Um, is that going to expand? What are your plans for Baslama internationally? Yes, um, we are mainly focusing on uh, global expansion rather than uh, uh, you know internal expansion right now. Our team's goal is to um, uh, to ensure that we are um, um, introducing uh, Turkish uh, uh, business or uh, Turkish excuse me Turkish uh, breakfast into. Uh, different parts of the world, um, uh, and in uh, by Dubai, uh, you know, it's been about two years now that we have proved that Turkish uh, breakfast is a, it, works. It, it works for the yeah as part of the universal value. So it, it's recognized by international uh, consumers as well, and um, and we do plan to open in major cities of, of the world, which we have. Uh, currently working on Riyadh, currently working on London, currently working on Spain, right. and uh, that in 2025 and 2026 we plan to have at least two more additional international branches. Great. I mean, I personally just can't wait to see this brand in, in other international scenes. Sure. Um, I think that it brings a family together, and I think, particularly in the West, we've lost that family unit where we sit around the table and eat. Oh yeah. And I think this helps to bring everyone together, and it's such a great concept. You have brought a very good point, actually. Um, uh, what makes us different from the rest of the, our um, competitors mm. is, if you will, 
is uh, we don't only sell product, we also sell experience. experience. So that experience comes with, uh, as you were saying, with our family-oriented atmosphere, um, uh, where uh, you know family friends come uh, gather together around our tables, where they have unmemorable, mm. you know, um, uh, memorable, uh, you know, moments yeah. uh, where they also have their birthdays, they have their special family mm. gatherings, or even, even um, perhaps sometimes we get uh, consumers, guests who are, um, you know, um, doing their bachelor parties yeah. and, and um, also even engagements. Yeah, yeah I, mean, so. I love that actually because you, you mentioned a really good point because I've been to a number of your locations and you'll see uh, locals come in whether it's for special events you see office workers come in for their uh, breakfast or brunch right. um, you see uh, families come in couples come in I mean the whole array of people come in and enjoying the whole experience exactly exactly it's a it's a uh, and our slogan it's not just to uh, fulfill your heart mm -hmm. or your uh, tummy but also fulfill yeah. your heart so uh, that's how we think that as a brand uh, become very uh, memorable in the minds of our guests, um, they they keep wanting to come back because they we feel like we take up their space and from their heart mm. as as a brand. So on that point, how have you maintained your success, particularly with the current climate you have in? In Turkey, obviously, over the last few years, inflation has gone through the roof. Unfortunately, yes. Um, but you've managed to sustain and maintain uh, your position in the market, mm -hmm. but also offer a very good value for money offering. Yeah. In most cases, when you have economies like that, FMB sector, they are inclined to decrease their quality mm -hmm. in most cases. But uh, thanks to my mother, who um, is very, very strict about um, keeping the quality, quality of the food. She, in, a, in another words, she is the cop of our kitchens. Mm. So even though we have departments, coast control departments in mm. our uh, management team, where they uh, constantly say, okay, let's you know, uh, you know, pay attention to this and that. But uh, with my, uh, you know, mother, who is still very active in the business, they, um, and, you know, she gets the best uh, uh, source food, um, you know, uh, as possible, and she keeps uh, the quality uh, to a, a point where it doesn't really, um, you know, um, take away from our uh, customers that are loyal uh, to us. So that's very important uh, to her. And so, because we're partners, and I have to, you know, uh, I have to um, follow her yeah. principles. Uh, and, and, and doing business with a family, it, it, it comes with, uh, of course, with some prices. But actually, this is one of the biggest advantages that I take uh, from my uh, my my mother, mm. who is really trying to protect the quality of the food, and that's the uh, despite the brand. economy. Yeah. Exactly. So. How we offset that, uh, actually, is you, you pose a very good question. We uh, um, try to, as our company, uh, focus on the external markets where we get, uh, you know, international uh, revenue streams that to offset our internal economy yeah. disadvantages. The that you uh, yeah, exactly. So that's that's what we do. Uh, as, 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 uh, answer to your question. Great. Yeah. And uh, I think finally, I think that one of the core questions I have is how is Vazlama managing to compete or stay ahead of your competitors in terms of the overall experience and also the value that you provide uh, as part of your, your offering? Yeah, uh, we constantly change. We constantly upgrade our uh, menu and uh, also our. Um, uh, training with our uh, front of line uh, team members. Uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, we're not only selling food, good food, but also we're selling good uh, uh, service. So let's talk about a bit of our team um, because yeah, because they're always they're always smiling. Yes, yeah, good. <laughs> we uh, as a brand, uh, you know, we're different, or, or at least uh, set ourselves uh, apart from the the, the, the the rest. Is we. We believe that we, above average, we give the best quality of service, uh, not only Turkey, but also we try to strive that uh, in the other countries that we're going to, we are at already or we're going to be get going to. So, um, 
we have a family-oriented, uh, friendly-faced, um, you know, service quality all over our uh, restaurants. And so, in that regard, um, you know, uh, combined with good quality of food uh, that never compromises quality, um, it's a whole package that we we um, you know give to our uh, consumers um, in a sustainable manner. Yeah. So that's how we uh, keep ourselves apart from the rest of the competition. Um, and, and obviously, as I sh uh, mentioned, uh, you know earlier, uh, you know keep updating, keep mm -hmm. updating all over of our whole package that I just mentioned. Yeah, I mean it's great. I mean this whole spread here I mean it's just such unique offerings and options yeah. it's a bit of something for everyone everyone's taste um, and there's a lot of things that you do that others don't do uh, in terms of what you offer and the most important element I think is that everything is rechargeable so whatever is here can be recharged um, yeah it's, it's uh, uh, unlimited you're yeah. right uh, uh, whatever you see on this table you can eat as much as you would like to uh, until you are completely full. So you cannot, in fact, leave this place without mm, being completely full. full. <laughs> That's kind of our rule in-house. Yeah. And then as you are more, you know, the sweet eater, you ask for more of the sweets. Sure. If you're, you know, vice versa, you, you eat a salty, then you ask for more of the salty. So it's where you pour your own tea as if you're in your own house yeah. or your grandmother's house. So we, we make you feel part of the whole experience. So that's why we put a whole tea, um, uh, you know, uh, in, on our table where the customers, they, they uh, pour their own yeah, tea to them with, themselves. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Amazing. I mean, all I can say is thank you for your time. It yeah, was great to get a bit more information about what Maslana is really about. Sure. And it was great to meet Mom. Um, and it's really good to see uh, Turkish brands being successful not only locally but also internationally. And uh, me being in London, obviously yeah. I'm looking forward to Baslama opening in London and yeah. it will definitely be there. Yeah. Uh, so guys, I, I, I hope you enjoyed this series. I mean, we have a few more uh, similar types of interviews going on uh, throughout this series. Um, I hope you enjoyed a little bit more information about uh, Baslama, what they're about, their history, what their core values are, what makes them different. Um, and if you are uh, visiting Istanbul, this is definitely one of the places, honestly, where I recommend. And as has been re it reiterated a few times, it's not just about the quality, it's about the experience. And I think that is more important these days when it comes to differentiating yourselves uh, with competitors, but also in terms of price point. It's not You're not just paying for great quality, but you're also paying for the whole experience. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. See you later.